All right, so in the area of the pyloric sphincter, just below it, you have the, the opening to the duodenum, and you have the number of specializations that are going to be present. And so uh, instead of looking at the, these portions on this composite model, we're going to look at it in this smaller model, or the separate model. And uh, what we see here is the spleen. We see the splenic artery off the celiac trunk. We see the pancreas, that's uh, the tail of which is connected uh, or sitting po uh, deep to that spleen. This is the uh, the pancreas, which hooks around the, the duodenum. Here's the duodenum, right? Uh, the first part of the small intestine, and you can see also ben, um, the branches that move into these areas. So these, this is the celiac trunk, uh, blood vessels up here. You have the splenic. You would have the. This is what's referred to as the gastroepiploic, or the uh, above it would be the gastric, and you'd also have the hepatic going to the liver off that celiac trunk. Down below the pancreas, right here uh, at the base, you'd find the superior mesenteric artery that does most of the, the intestines, uh, or provides blood to most of the intestines, and the, in, the superior mesenteric vein that is a part of the hepatic portal system returning blood into the liver for detoxification. This tube that we see here is the, uh, is the duodenum, as I mentioned, the first 10-inch piece of uh, tubing that, where most absorption occurs in the small intestine and where, um, where the dumping of um, uh, enzymes into that uh, area occurs for uh, most of the digestion to, to um, be completed through the hepatopancreatic ap ampulla from the acinar cells and the main pancreatic duct that, that uh, sends its contents through there. On the back of this model, you can see here the, that um, system of the hepatic portal system. So we have the splenic vein right here. This would be the inferior mesenteric. This is the superior mesenteric vein. This is the, uh, the um, hepatic portal vein, and that's going to move into the uh, portal triads uh, and the, uh, the lobes of the lobules of the liver for detoxification of blood. Okay, um, we would also, and then eventually into the uh, central vein and on to the uh, inferior vena cava for returning of all of this blood and uh, detoxified and deoxygenated blood into the right, uh, right atrium of the heart. Um, this is the backside of the, uh, of the small intestine or duodenum, and you can see on its surface right there the uh, visceral layer that we've been talking about, serous membrane, that, that's the mesothelium, or in, um, this is a retroperitoneal area, and this would be simple squamous cells of, of the serous membrane. This right here, is going, as we'll see on the liver in the next video, is the, uh, is the common bile duct, and if you notice, the common bile duct uh, and the main pancreatic duct will join here at the hepatopancreatic ampulla and dump all of these contents for digestion of the acid chyme that's coming through. Uh, from the pyloric sphincter in the stomach, we move uh, this chyme into this area through uh, three times, approximately three times per minute with pacemaker cells. And uh, remember, we'd have in this area, first area, we would have bi um, bicarbonate producing uh, Brunner's glands. We would also have the accessory pancreatic duct cells that are producing bicarbonate, so we quickly change pH back up to a range of 6.5 to 8 or so. Uh, this this um, organ, the pancreas, you should know, is also a uh, uh, is is extremely important because it's not only exocrine in its digestive function, it's also endocrine in function, not using ducts and um, releasing hormones into the bloodstream, insulin and glucagon for balancing of glucose levels in the blood.